What's going on, one? My name is Kyle Harris, aka Racer Night 99, and welcome to another Cup Race Review with Ethan Jones. So it's time to review of the Enjoy Illinois 300 at, and Worldwide Technology Raceway, aka Gateway. So I gotta say, it's been a good racing all day. So I just want to say a huge congratulations to the number eight of Kyle Bush, scores his 63rd Cup Race career win and his third win of the 2023 season, joining William Byron with three wins of the 2023 season. And I gotta say, by the way, for Kyle Busch, man, he had a good race car all day. He was been fast all day. Great race car, qualified on the pole, win stage number one, and got the win for his 63rd Cup race career win. And I gotta say, for Kyle Busch, man, he's having the best season ever. His, uh, and also his new team for Richard Childress Racing. And I gotta say, good race for Kyle Busch, great win, and the number eight car has been fast all day. And yeah, it's been a good day all, all by the way. So anyway, let's get on to stage number one. So stage number one race, uh, Tyra Reddick brought out their early caution on lap number two. And then the rain came up around, uh, after when Tyra Reddick, uh, Tyra Reddick brought out the caution, the spins, and then, um, it's a whitening delay. And then, um, they back on the racing on, um, I mean, a couple of laps to go, and then in stage number one finish was Kyle Busch, and then on to stage number two. So stage number two, um, on lap number 54, that bike of Adele brought out the caution, and then on lap number 91, and Carson Holsafar, man, Carson Holsafar debut, first time ever racing the cup race, driving the number seven car. He had a good race all day, he was in 16th, and all of a sudden, the... Um, the flat tire happened on, on uh, lap number 91. That sucks. You know, Carson Holzenfar had a great race all day. He did a great, awesome job uh, uh, driving for the number 7 car. And then Corey Wajoy drives the number 9 car for Chase Elliott after when Chase Elliott got suspended by NASCAR after he wrecked Danny Hammond last race. Corey Wajoy filled in for Chase Elliott, finished in 21st. He did a good job, by the way. And then um, stage number two finish, uh, Ryan Blaney got the win. And I got to say, Ryan Blaney, I thought Ryan Blaney was going to go back to back. He had a good race car all day for Blaney. And yeah, he did a great awesome job, by the way, for Ryan Blaney. And yeah, so lab, on the final stage of the race, so 65 to go. Uh, tire Reddick brought another caution, hit the wall. It's probably as another flat tire has been going on since just like Carson Horsenfart did. And then um, now 42 laps to go, Nora Craig said, Brought up the a caution, hard hit. The red flag came up. There were there were two red flags in this race, by the way. There's one red flag for Noah Craigson, and then the other red flag was uh, Austin Dillon and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. A second red flag. It's just been a, it's been a, such a long race, by the way. It's been a crazy race. Cautions after cautions, like eleven cautions in this race. Oh man, such a long, long race, by the way. Just like last race in Charlotte in the Coca Cola Six Hundred. Like five, uh, I think it was like 500 lap race, or actually it was 400 lap race in last race in Charlotte. So it's been a good race, it's been a long race, by the way. And um, 21 to go. Um, yeah, yeah. Actually, no, five to go. By the way, let's go on the five to go. Five to go. Uh, Bubble Wallace brought out another caution, and they rock, and they go on to the overtime with Kyle Busch and Kyle Larson. I thought it was going to be like a one-two finish off the Kyle Kyle. Want to finish Kyle Busch with a win, and Kyle Larson would have finished in second. But unfortunately, Kyle Larson finished in fourth. By the way, got passed by Joey Logano for third. Danny Ham went to second, and I thought like Martin Truex Jr. or William Byron was going to get the win because they got fresh tires, and then um, they finished off around in the top tens. You know, great great run for Martin Truex Jr. and also a good run for William Byron. Led a lot of laps, a little bit. Did a great job. Caution came out. On um and yeah, William Byron had a good race all day. He came around in the top top ten. He did a great job. Well, um, Martin Truex Jr. great race all day. Ryan Blaney, I gotta say, Ryan Blaney had a good race. Denny Hamlin came in second. Did a great job. Joy Magano third, and also the top. Uh, I think I don't know who round in the top five. And Martin Truex Jr. got the top five finish, and he did a great awesome job with the fresh tires. So yeah. 
So it was been a good race all day, long race, a weather delay on, on the area of the race and station number one. C congratulations to Kyle Bush, scores his 63rd Cup race career win. And also he joined William Byron with three wins of the 2023 season. William Byron got three wins and now Kyle Bush got three wins. Oh man. It's going to be a good, awesome season for William Byron and Kyle Bush, you know, for the season until we get to the playoff very soon, by the way. So, next race will be Sonoma, by the way. I got a good feel feeling. I know who's going to win the road course next race. It could be Tyra Reddick because Reddick has one of three of the last road course wins. So, Tyra Reddick tried to go for his fourth road course win next race in Sonoma. I got a good feeling it could be Tyra Reddick next race. We're about to find out. Or it could be Kyle Larson or Chase Elliott and uh, Martin Trex Jr. They've been good at road course racing. So next race will be Sonoma. And also the last race of NASCAR on Fox and on to NASCAR on NBC in Nashville. A couple of races away. So a couple of weeks away. Yeah. So for the uh, Ally 400. So we got Sonoma next race. Last race of Fox. And on to the other race in Nashville will be NBC and USA Network for uh, for Xfinity and Cup. So it's going to be a good race, by the way. Good race for next race is Sonoma. One last race from Fox. Um, I, I Like I said, I got a good feeling it could be Tyler Reddick with the win next race. We'll about to find out. Or even Chase Elliott, Kyle Larson, and Mark Trex Jr. They're good at road course, by, by the way. I thought it'd be cool if Daniel Suarez goes back to back. We're about to find out who's going to win next race. So anyway... Hope you guys enjoyed this video. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, hit the like and subscribe button. Click the bell notification to turn it on. If you guys are new in here, ladies and gentlemen, raw road to 2,000 subscribers. I love you all at the bottom of my heart. And don't forget to keep it retro. Love you. Have a nice day. See you guys next time. Have an awesome day. See you guys soon. See you guys on another Cup Race review. And I'll see you guys next time. Keep it retro. Have a great day. See you guys soon. Have a fantastic, awesome day.